Welcome back to Prime. Our next guests are with Med Synergies and Allies in Service, which partnered last summer for an amazing program to help give veterans jobs. It's a great partnership that so shows Med Synergies' commitment to our veterans. We have with us today Patrick McAfee from Med Synergies and David Whitley from Allies in Service. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about how this partnership got started? Well, last uh, spring time, our executive committee, our CEO, J.R. Thomas, and the rest of the executive committee looked at our strategic plan for 2012-2013, knowing we were going to have an onslaught of business that we're signing. And the thing that we lacked was personnel. So the, commit the commitment was made with Allies in Service to partner up to start hiring veterans for our, uh, our employment opportunities that, that were provided. Absolutely. And, and I want to talk a little bit more about that, but just so, so our viewers know, David, will you tell us a little bit about what Allies in Service is, that, yeah. how Med Synergy is new and whatnot? Yes, Allies in Service is a nonprofit organization founded by Roger Staubach. And our focus is helping veterans make the transition from uh, the military in, with education, employment, housing, and health care. So that's our primary focus, and we try to do what we call a warm handoff from the military back into the civilian environment. Because that's you guys are both veterans, which we absolutely appreciate that you are, and thank you for that. We have Army and Air Force, and we're hoping we don't have any confrontations <laughs> on air today. <laughs> But I, I've, I've wondered that. You really do see that. How difficult is that transition? We hear a lot about PTSD and, um, and, and just that the fact that we have such a hard economy right now. So the unemployment numbers alone are working against a lot of these guys and, and women coming back home. What is that transition like to go from being in public service to having a job and doing it to make money and whatnot? Well, I can tell you personally, um, I just come out of active duty this past July. It was actually like going through a divorce when I separated from the yeah. Army. Um, you know, I've been on active duty the last 10 years, loved what I was doing, you know, the, the drawdown's coming in effect, and then for Med Synergies to team up with Allies in Service to create a veteran hiring initiative says a lot, not only for the company, but its values that it supports. Absolutely. And, and these, really, I mean, JR, I, I've heard him talk about it, and one of the things he said, which is really interesting, he's like, this isn't necessarily charity. These mm -hmm. are the best hires because of what they bring. What do, you, what do you think companies should realize in bringing a veteran on as an employee? What are some of the great qualities that you think come with that? You bring up a great point. JR uh, has said many times, this is not a handout uh, organization that we're providing for these veterans, but a hand up. Um, we great. know that hiring veterans and veteran spouses, let me be very clear, include them as well, um, brings one thing that you cannot teach in a classroom, and that's leadership. Mm -hmm. We also, veterans also bring teamwork. We also bring commitment. We also bring the can-do attitude. So looking at our veteran hires, we've a actually been able to sprinkle them throughout our whole organization mm -hmm. in IT, operations, human resources, client-facing roles. So we've been very successful in placing our veteran and veteran spouses in different departments within our med synergies. Right. And, and tell me, so allies now mm -hmm. now jr i know happened upon this but roger staubach started this and, yes. and and why is it what he obviously saw a need right of course uh roger is a, a veteran mm -hmm. and he's very passionate about helping vets um also the sea of goodwill and the sea of goodwill basically is the concept of helping uh do the warm handoff and the uh joint chiefs of staff kind of wanted local community organizations to be able to assist with that transition and Roger stepped up for the DFW area and said I'll be the guy to make that happen and we're very fortunate of that. I am a recent retiree just like uh, Patrick got out of the military June 1st of this year so wow. oh, wow. uh, he's not just doing it within the community he's doing it within his own organization as far as helping that transition. Right. Do you guys have any uh, interesting stories of some of the veterans that, that some of the cases that you've seen come through, that um, how, how you've seen this positively impact their lives? Well, uh, and speaking of Med Synergies, I've been greatly um, impressed that we are, uh, you know, hiring veterans is not a one-dimensional, one-department style uh, person that we've actually been able to spring throughout the whole organization. Um, we are excited about the veteran coming on board that brings a whole new culture atmosphere to med synergies mm -hmm. and, and I, th I think a lot of the maturity that comes I mean after you've been through that uh, just like what a college education does for some I mm -hmm. would think that military service really takes you to a new 
a new point that would be a real asset for an organization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things, I, um, if, you saw, if you saw the news whenever Med Synergies announced it this summer, I thought this was an interesting aspect of the program, is having somebody to, and, and I can't recall the exact kind of title, and I think this is what you're doing, Patrick, is, is identifying what jobs, because I know there are different jobs that mm -hmm. you would have done in public service, mm -hmm. and how those tailor to the private sector. I mean, we're, we're used to writing resumes and saying, you know, in, in our industry, I wrote press releases, and so if you're going to another agency, obviously you can write press releases, mm -hmm. but you manage communications with airplanes, right. and so how does that... How it, how it transfers over. Absolutely. Right. And so, so how, do, how does that work, and, and why is that such a critical role, I would think? Well, I think first and foremost is helping the vet to identify all of the intangibles that they learn through their military training. There are so many things that we do that are in addition to our primary military specialty that we don't think about. We do it because we're asked to do it and we do it effectively. Right. So our focus at Allies in Service is to kind of tap into that resource and help our veteran population to market those skills and abilities. Right. And it takes really, really um, being open to themselves and taking time to look back upon their career and find out about what they've actually done and putting it on paper in order to help them to be more marketable. Absolutely. And do you see that too, Patrick? Yes, um, and, and that's why um, Mets Energies brought me on board as the Veteran Hiring Initiative Director, um, is to help veterans that are coming off active duty that we receive from allies in service, look at their resumes, look what their background skills that they have done in the military and how we can uh, position them within our company. You know, we're not offering our veterans a job, we're offering them a career. Mm -hmm. And we want them to grow as we grow. And I, th I think that's a really great point because I think a lot of people think when you're talking unemployment or, or veterans looking for jobs, well, oh, there's, there's jobs all over the place. Mm -hmm. Well, there are jobs and there are careers. And t tell me a little bit about what that is in terms of what Med Synergies and Allies and Service are doing to, to, to set them up for the long term, you know, teaching them to fish, if you will. Well, we are actually um, in, in our phase two of our veteran hiring initiative. Phase one was bring the veterans in. Phase two will be kicking off 2013. It's train, retain, and grow. So we are going to, uh, we're going to support uh, a healthcare academy we're beginning to uh, um, form at Med Synergies. We're also going to uh, develop what we call a battle buddy system where our, our veterans will be teamed up with a, a, veteran, within, uh, a veteran and a non-veteran with Med Synergies to partner up with them to help that transition from military to civilian life uh, happen at a, at, a, at a quick rate. Right. Um, one of the uh, other things we have at Med Synergies in our, is our open door policy. Um, I personally meet with every veteran that we hire and establish a rapport with them. Um, we're actually starting uh, a leaders with veterans luncheon, a quarterly luncheon That's that our great. veterans can get with our leadership, our uh, mm -hmm. JR mm -hmm. and our, our, our executive committee and kind of an open forum for them. And tell me, so knowing the partnership and, mm -hmm. and obviously both similar missions of get, getting our veterans in, mm -hmm. in solid careers, how are the two working together and, and how does this partnership Well, it's, it's a uh, hands-on approach from the top down. Um, to be effective in any type of uh, veteran hiring initiative, it has to come from the top down right. to change the culture within the environment as well as within the uh, work structure. Uh, the intangibles, the what we call the X factor, is something that we want to make sure that our HR, uh, the HR people within certain uh, employer employment partners fully understand, as well as for us to uh, do things like mentoring. Uh, we have a phenomenal mentoring program that we help uh, our guys to make that transition. So uh, the culture, talking with our people, making sure that they understand, as well as Roger and I, uh, or I'm sorry, Patrick and I, meet on an almost weekly basis to discuss how uh, the program is going and to make adjustments as we go. Right, I think that's fantastic. And I think it's really important um, for those that may be considering um, going into public service, mm -hmm. that if they don't want to imagine it as being the rest of their life, that they're mm -hmm. knowing that it's not like you're going to do this and then reach a dead end. I think that you guys are probably helping ensure that we continue to have strong recruiting. For mm -hmm. We had talked for a little bit forces. before about how people coming out of the military, they 
they've served so much, it's, it's all about finding a new way to serve. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so you just kind of teach them new ways and just kind of find their strengths. Is that part of it? Is that part of the training program? Well, it, it's, and JR and I have, have had many discussions, um, and he even said he will take a high school graduate that served in Iraq, Afghanistan, and he can teach them, we can teach them healthcare. Right. Mm -hmm. But what we can't teach them is an intangible life skill called leadership. Mm -hmm. right. So with that being said, I mean, that's why we're excited about this veteran initiative uh, along with partnering up with Allies because um, we are excited about changing our company culture. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a proven uh, model so far this year. We're hoping to share it with our business partners without, without the, within the community. So we're looking forward to 2013. And healthcare, great industry, definitely mm -hmm. growing. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. Med Synergies was actually the first corporate sponsor to do this with Allies, right? Yes, yes. So kudos to you guys for doing yes. that. That's fantastic. <laughs> and we and, and the hope is that not only that we can get some veterans applying for jobs with Allies and Service that, but but that maybe we can set an example for some of the other companies out there so that they might might take on this the same challenge of of bringing up a new generation of career driven professionals. Mm -hmm. 100 percent. Well great. So so what advice do we do we give them? Call allies, call med synergies, both what what should, veterans and their spouses that are watching, what should what should we have them? Well do? we'd like for them to contact us at Allies and Service. Uh, and from there we'll make sure that not only will we help them with employment, we'll meet all of the needs that they may have in the areas of education, employment, housing, and health care. There are a lot of uh, needs for the veteran family as they make that transition and, like and we want to cover out. all of the bases so uh, depending on what they what is their ideal situation we don't want to just find them a job we want to place them in their ideal situation which may require a little more education it may require uh, some adjustments concerning housing we provide all of those sources or resources mm -hmm. through allies and service and make uh, solid referrals to our uh, employment partners. And again, and you said veteran families, and I just want to point yes. that out. We're talking about veterans and their spouses. Yes. And, and because these are a, a family units that we're trying to make sure they're, they're, they're solid. Yes, when the veterans, when the military member serves, the family serves as well. That, we recognize that. Absolutely. And you, who have a wife that was, was in service with you as well, right? That's correct. She's still in. Oh, fantastic. Yes. She uh, outranks me, and I'll tell you that right now, because <laughs> she will tell you if oh, I Oh, well, isn't that always the case? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so you would have for our veterans and, and spouses watching, we would have them reach out and it's, it, on the website, medsynergies.com slash careers? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we actually, there's a link on there. It says veterans hire position. So click on our website, contact me, uh, contact uh, our 800 number. be more than happy to entertain any veteran or veteran spouses that's looking for employment. At Med Synergies. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys both for being here. Thank you for your service, and and we salute you. We we appreciate that. And if you do have any questions for either David or Patrick, please go online to alliesandservice.org. Yes. Alliesandservice.org, or you can go to medsynergies.com/careers and reach out to Patrick. We want to thank all of our guests for being here today. For Ariel Her, I'm Katie Fitz. Thanks.